For the longest time, I thought that the Sermon on the Mount, which today's passage is part of, was just a random collection of Jesus' thoughts that the Gospel authors didn't know what to do with. So they just threw all in one place and left it at that. But when I started to learn it, to memorize it with the intention of communicating it out, I began to see that there's a thought process and a logic that goes all the way through Jesus' teaching. And the passage today is a really good example of that. Now, I don't begin to think that I have seen the fullness or understood it all at all. I just want to share with you a little bit of what I've seen. I'm going to share the passage with you, but first let me explain. So in this passage, Jesus talks about, first of all, don't judge others, but look at your own heart. And then he seems to make this random statement about throwing pearls before swine. And then he changes the subject again and starts talking about seeking and knocking and asking. And the question is, these are three really famous passages. Is there a connection between each of them? Because we tend to look at them in isolation with each other. Well, I think that there is. So, have you ever experienced the fallout of trying to correct someone who really didn't want corrected? Now, this might have happened to me on one or two occasions when perhaps I saw something in someone else's life and I waded in there without first building the trust or having the right in the relationship to speak into their life. And guess what? They turned around and they tore a strip off me for being judgmental and sticking my nose in where it wasn't wanted. And when I stopped to examine my heart, I found that maybe, just maybe, there was a bit of judgment and criticism in there. But what do you do when you realize that having dealt with your heart, that the tiny bit of truth that you might be seeing if the other person could just get hold of it, it would totally transform their heart. How do they receive it without it being like pearls before swine? Well, Jesus makes it really clear in the very next little bit. You ask, you seek God, you knock on the door of heaven because he is a good, good father who wants to give really good gifts to his children, to all of us. I want to share the passage with you. It's from the Passion Translation, which for me is really fresh. And in this translation, it sounds maybe a bit different from the one that you might be used to. And it's the one about the speck in your eye and the plank. And it refers also to earrings on dog's ears. And Earrings are referring to truth in the same way that pearls symbolize truth. So let me share it with you. How can you say to your friend, let me show you where you are wrong, when you are guilty of even more? You are being hypercritical and a hypocrite. First acknowledge the blind spots in your own life and deal with them. Then you'll be capable of dealing with the blind spot of your friend. Who would hang earrings on a dog's ear or throw pearls in front of wild pigs? They will only trample them under their feet and then turn round and tear you to pieces. And ask, and the gift is yours. Seek, and you will discover. Knock, and the door will be open to you, for every persistent one will get what he asks for. Every persistent seeker will discover what he longs for. And everyone who knocks persistently will one day find an open door. I've shared with you just a small insight into what I've seen in this passage. I really encourage you to read it for yourselves and see what the Lord speaks to you through it.